Totems of Undying are an incredibly valuable item that allow you to cheat death and thus technically enabling you to die in Minecraft Hardcore just without the actual death and loss of your Hardcore world. As such, I believe that I am in need of these life-saving items. Now, to get totems, you need to kill evokers, and they only spawn in woodland mansions and in raids. I am feeling adventurous, so in this episode, we're going to do both of those. Let's get straight into it. Good day to you everyone, my name is Whistler, and welcome to episode 49 of my Minecraft Hardcore Let's Play series. I am a man who's currently stuck in the nether. And, well, that's that's completely my fault. I destroyed the portals, and then I completely nuked this place. Obliterated. It's it's gone. But I'll tell you what, it is a lot of fun to fly around, but we do have a bit of an issue at the moment. And that issue is that I currently have 135 modules, I believe, that are just ticking away with observer clocks constantly firing dispensers. And while it is a lot of fun to fly around this place, I would prefer to remove all of the tick lag that I'm currently experiencing. So to start this episode off, we're actually just going to completely remove all of those observer clocks and deactivate this entire TNT bomber array. I tell you what though, this, this place is almost like its own little biome. I could call it lava spires or something. <laughs> It's a shame I'm not going to keep this place though, because I, I'm going to turn this into a, a nice little canvas for me to work on in the future. Now it's not exactly a floor at the moment, so to get from one module to another, I'm going to have to bridge across with Netherrack, and that, that's going to be slow and painful. But I think the TNT modules are the most painful obstacle in front of me in regards to starting progress on creating the build that I have planned here. So we're going to start that off today. I think we'll remove some of the obsidian as well, but it's going to take a long time and I wouldn't be surprised if I dragged this out over the next few episodes because I, I don't want to mine obsidian for several hours straight. It's, it's boring. I, I have other things to do. <laughs> but as you can hear here, there is a very slow observer clock just constantly ticking right here and I need to destroy it. Come on, let me in. Break the obsidian, please. Just, just let me in. I need to break the clock. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's so much tick lag, but removing these observers should fix that issue. I just need to go through every single one of them and my world should become fine again. And I have faith that it will do. You know what, I'll take the dispensers now as well. We'll just harvest the entire thing. Well, we'll leave the obsidian for later, but we'll take back all of the redstone components. You want an example of how much lag I'm getting? Just look at how slow that pig fell. <laughs> Oh, the mobs can barely move. <laughs> it's not good, is it? It's not good at all. Wait, hang on. Oh, everyone, I think I found the TNT module that I lost. Do you remember from last episode? Like, I, I completely lost a TNT module. I had five stacks of TNT spare. I think this is it. Yeah, the observer clock hasn't been moved into place. Oh, thank goodness. I'm glad I found this place. Uh, I... I I would set it off now, but I, I think we'll wait till the next episode for that, because the next episode is a milestone. Oh, just listen to those observer ticks though. It's so much faster than before, and obsidian breaks the first time. <laughs> this is so much better now. I'm glad that I made this the first step for today's episode. Tick lag no more. And so that is every observer clock completely disabled. I have completely dismantled the entire TNT bomber array, apart from that one module that failed to fire last time. So, I think we should experience flying in these lava spires without all of the lag. Let's do this! Oh yes! <laughs> oh, I'm still getting some FPS issues, but that's just my, my laptop, I think. But this is so much better. And the fireworks, I think don't last as long, the lava's actually stopping me in my tracks. The game is proceeding to run as it normally should do, and I'm not hearing those ticking noises in the background either. <laughs> now, I would quite like to remove some of the obsidian today as well, so let's just set up this beacon, and we'll get some haste too in this place real quick. There we go. Right, I guess it's time we get started with the obsidian. This is gonna take a long time. I'll get back to you when I get bored. <laughs> Oh, I hear a pig. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Take that. <laughs> and, well, I've got on board. I, I, I don't want to mine any more obsidian this week. So, we'll leave the rest of that for future me. 
I've managed to take back an entire shulker box worth of obsidian though. A little bit over that actually. But I lost quite a lot of the obsidian to falling into lava as well. So, so I'm actually a little bit further into dismantling this entire thing than this lets you see here. I am currently stuck in the nether at the moment though. I no longer have a nether portal. So I suggest that we get that sorted real quick. I need to go back to a very particular set of coordinates and build a new nether portal for myself. You can actually see from here all of the different modules that I've dismantled because I've left some of the obsidian inside of the bedrock. But I think it's time we light this nether portal. I hope this works and takes me back exactly where I have my nether portal in the overworld. I don't want it to be somewhere else entirely. Please work. Please tell me I've done this correctly. <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, sweet. Excellent. I put the portal in the right place. That's good. Does this link back the other way through, though? Oh. Yes, it does. Excellent. Okay. That's good news. I now have a way out of the nether again. <laughs> Hang on. What's going on here? What? Excuse me? What happened to my build? <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> I think I think my uh, I think my build got struck by lightning without me realizing it. Oh, that's awful! <laughs> oh, that's incredibly demotivating. I've got to rebuild this now. I guess that's what I get for building things out of wood. But I tell you what, I cannot wait for the lightning rods in 1.17 because I use a lot of flammable materials in this village in this small town that I have here. <laughs> and the mega creeper tree especially, it terrifies me the thought of that thing being struck by lightning. Oh, just look at this place though. I can't believe it got griefed by lightning. That's such a shame. I think I'll have to fix that later. But I think it's time we move on to the actual stuff that I have planned for this episode. I want to go to a woodland mansion. And if you remember from way back when, I actually have a woodland explorer map. So I suggest we follow this thing and see where it takes us. Hopefully the mansion isn't too far away. Now, I've never actually done a woodland mansion before. Like, I've seen other people do them, but I've never really seen the need to go out to one myself before. And they're really quite rare, so I've never really come across one naturally either. So today's going to be interesting. I think we have to go southeast, though. So let's just make sure I've got plenty of rockets. Yes, here we go. That should be enough. And let's head off to the mansion. I hope we don't die today. <laughs> I've seen plenty of people die to vexes in hardcore recently, and I'm determined that that is not going to be me. I will survive. <laughs> And here's the flower forest. This is the furthest I've been away from my base in this direction, I believe. How big is this biome, though? Uh, it's an okay size, I guess. I could probably build a somewhat decent flower farm there at some point in the future. I'm not going to make that my priority, though. Oh, I just love snowy mountains. It's, uh, it's a bit of a thing for me. I, I just love snow in general. I, I just think it looks so pretty. I've always had a soft spot for it. And I tell you what, I'm looking forward to the new generation because that's going to make it even better. <laughs> uh, here we go. I'm on the map in one coordinate at least. I am as far east as I need to be. So now I just need to fly south. Oh, hang on. Here's a shipwreck. I think we'll just go and do this thing very quickly. I'd quite like another heart of the sea. I could probably do with another conduit. Is it in here? I need the treasure map. Yes, it is. Excellent. Let's go find where this leads to. Uh, it should be somewhere around here. So let's just line ourselves up. I think it should be beneath me. Ah, oh, there it is. Excellent. So we've got on a new diamond and a new heart of the sea. That's pretty cool. I think I'll break that chest, though. I don't need anything else from it. Oh. I've just gotten big on the map. I must be close. This isn't too far from zero zero, actually. I'm only like 4,000 blocks out, I'd probably say. That's pretty close, as far as woodland mansion rarities go, I think. Ah, here we go. We're filling in the map. We're here. Where is it, though? I, I need to generate the chunks. <laughs> ah, there it is. The first mansion of the world, and the first mansion I hope to conquer. I hope I don't die here. <laughs> I won't die here. Okay, we will uh, be confident, Whistler. I can do this. Oh, just look at this thing. All of its glory. And I can even see the Vindicators from all the way over here. <laughs> I'm going to have to be careful about those guys. And here we go. 
I've set foot on top of it. I think I'm safe up here. And I think I might actually create a nice torch grid up here because I'd quite like to be able to use this as a nice safe place to run to, at least. Away from like the Vindicators and whatnot. But first, I'd quite like to fill in the rest of this map. So let's just go do that real quick. You know, I quite like how this Woodland Mansion generated next to the ocean. It's quite interesting. I, I quite like the aesthetic that that gives. I might have to do something here at some point in the future. Just because it's next to the sea. <laughs> right, I've got plenty of coal, but I have zero logs, so I don't have any sticks. I'd quite like a lot of torches for this place, so that all of the enemy mobs don't suddenly just get replaced by creepers and whatnot. That's fine though, there's plenty of dark oak here for sticks. And here we go with the last few torches. We've now completely done the entire place. And this roof is now safe for me to return to. Oh, there's an evoker just here as well. Right, okay, I'm gonna have to try and take care of him ASAP, pretty much. I need to kill him before he manages to summon any Vexes, because they're quite dangerous. And I should probably take note of the amount of Vindicators in here as well. <laughs> I think this room here, I think this is a secret room, so we're just gonna break into here and see what this chest has. It might have something interesting. Let's just make sure it's lit up. I don't want mobs spawning above me, because I think they might be able to do so. I don't hear anything up there, though. What's in this chest, though? Uh, that's kind of lame, to be honest. I'll take the lead. I'm, I might take all of it, actually. But I could have asked for better loot, to be honest. So, I've got my chest plate on. It's time we break into this place and hopefully not die. <laughs> there's a Vindicator behind the window just there, and I know that there's an Evoker here. Yeah, there he is. Right, let's take out the Evoker first. Ah, sweet. I killed him before he managed to summon anything. Wait. Why? He didn't summon. <laughs> oh, I think there's a, there's a bit of an aggro thing with the evokers, I think. So if you shoot one, I think others in the mansion might decide to attack you as well, which is unfortunate because I don't know where the others are. <laughs> Get out of here, evokers. You won't have me today. Oh, hello, Vindicator. You shall die too. Thank you very much. Right, I need to find this evoker. Oh sweet, there's a totem just here. Let's just pick that up. Um, I need to find the other evokers. I don't know where they are, but I think they might let themselves be known with those ground spike things. And oh my goodness, that's a lot of vexes. I might, I might retreat for a little bit actually. <laughs> um, oh hello, vindicator. <laughs> I've just got to be very wary of these Vexes though, because as soon as you get a lot of them just like this, it begins to get incredibly scary, so I think I might just retreat for a little bit and hopefully lose the aggro of the Evokers, because this is a bit too much. They're even making me eat my golden apples. <laughs> right, okay, I think I unloaded the mansion, so hopefully the Evokers won't still be angry with me. Oh, wait, no. That's, that didn't work how I wanted it to, <laughs> the Evokers. The Vexes still knew where I was. <laughs> I hope they hurry up and despawn. <laughs> right, this is a bit scarier than I thought it would be, I'll be honest. <laughs> but I think we can do this thing. I just need to get in there, kill the rest of the Evokers, and I think we should be good. I just need to be wary of how many Vexes are flying around, because too many of them and I really wouldn't be surprised if we died. And that's the last thing I want to do. It's time we head back though. This time, I won't run away. Where are those evokers? Oh, there's a Vindicator here. He will be the first casualty this time. Right, where's that evoker? The rest of the mobs should be downstairs somewhere. Oh, there is a evoker. Come here. Come here, come here. One swipe, two swipe, three swipe. Excellent. I think I picked up that totem too. Right, so that should be less vexes spawning, hopefully. Go away! I don't want you here. You won't have me. They're so difficult to hit, and I can't aim at them. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, hello, pillagers. I see you've come here to take a look at your mansion. You don't normally spawn here, do you? I didn't think you did. Oh, I spy another evoker just there. Let's kill him very quickly before he notices me. Very good. Very good. Right. Is there an evoker in there? I don't think so. There is a vindicator, though, so let's just take care of him real quick. There we go. Another one bites the dust. Oh! There's another evoker. Come here. Come here. Don't spawn. Stop moving. Stop moving. Oh, he did it. How dare he. Luckily, death was all but certain for him. 
Thank goodness I killed him before he managed to summon more. <laughs> Go away, Vex. I don't want you here. Thank you very much. Oh, I see a bunch of mobs just came up the staircase just then. Um, let's just quickly take care of these. There we go. Another Vindicator down. Um, oh, hang on. Is that zombie fighting the Vindicator? What caused that? They don't normally do that, do they? How did they hit each other? It's a bit weird. Oh, there's another Revoker just there. I need to kill him. Oh, he spawned the Vexes. Ah. Right. Come here, you. Death. Thank you. Let's try and lose those Vexes. <laughs> Right, I've got four totems so far, and that evoker should have made five. So I think that's a pretty good haul from this woodland mansion so far. I hope there's more. I need all of the totems for today. Let's just block off that entrance there. Don't want more mobs wandering in. <laughs> Is there anything in here? Yes. What's in this chest? A music disc. 13? Again? Really? Why do I keep getting 13? That's the worst music disc. <laughs> it's the really creepy one. I don't want it. I want something I enjoy listening to. Well, I've got some jail cells here. I don't think there's anything in here though. Oh, hello creeper. Time to die. Thank you very much. I'm not hearing many uh, mansion mobs anymore. So I wonder if this guy might be the last one. <laughs> I hope he is. That would be good to know that I have finally conquered this place. <laughs> Definitely got a bit tense at stages. <laughs> so yeah, I think we've completely killed everyone in this place, which I think is pretty good. We've gotten five totems out of here, and I think it's time that we try and explore and look for chests and secret rooms and whatnot. I could do some more loot if it is available. Is there anything behind this face? No, that's a bit boring. Thought for sure there'd be something behind there. All right, okay, I'm gonna do some poke holes in every wall and hopefully we'll come across a nice secret room for me to go into. Although, I think I'm just gonna find all of the rooms I've already been in. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find any more loot, so we're going to have to move on, sadly. This was a lot of fun to do. I'm glad I survived. <laughs> I've seen quite a few other hardcore players lose their worlds because of woodland mansions and evokers and vexes and whatnot. So I'm glad that I've managed to survive this little part of today. I guess the next part is the raid. So let's head back home. Oh, I recognise that hill. We're almost back. Excellent. Ah, uh, there we go. That's the bee farm. The melon and pumpkin farm and the tree. Ah, uh, home sweet home. So before I get started with creating a raid here, I think I'd quite like to control where the mobs are gathering and whatnot. So the raid itself is going to be centered around my villager breeder inside of the bee farm. So I think we're going to have to fence off this build here. And that way none of the illagers are going to be able to get in and kill them. And I'll be able to do some good target practice. Or at least I hope so anyway. <laughs> so yeah, let's just create a nice temporary fence for this place. It should give me a nice bit of defense. And I just realized that I have this massive hole behind this landscaping that I've done here. And I don't particularly want like the illagers going under here, like in the slightest. So I'm just going to block this off. I could actually just like finish the landscaping, but I still don't know like where I want to take it. So in order to prevent myself losing out on a future project, I'm just going to create a wall that none of the mobs will be able to get through. And I'm also just going to take down this beacon and move it because I quite like to have resistance too. Because I'm not quite sure how much of a threat a level 5 raid is to me in hardcore. I know I'm going to have my chest plate on for a lot of it, but I, I really just need to be safe with this thing. <laughs> so I'm thinking we just plop the beacon down here. Here's a good enough spot. And there we go, beacon complete. Let's just put resistance 2 in there. Excellent. And there we go. I think that's my fortifications done. I think most of the raid will spawn on that hill just there and they might get stopped by this fence here. In which case I can just shoot them with my bow, which is going to be helpful. I might be wrong with where they spawn though, so we'll just see how that turns out. I do need bad omen though, so let's head to the pillager tower that is in this direction in a savannah just beyond this desert, I think. Or is it in a desert? I, I can't remember. It's over here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Excellent. Let's get ourselves some level 5 bad omen. Now where are those banner guys at? 
Hello? Are there even any pillagers here? <laughs> well, I found the pillagers, they're just not very numerous. I think that might be my fault though, because I haven't slept in a very long time. So, I think a lot of the mobs outside are actually other hostile mobs, which isn't very good for the, the spawning rates of this place. That's fine though, because I have an idea. If my knowledge of spawning mechanics is correct, all I need to do to get myself a lot of pillagers is to build a platform high in the sky. <laughs> and we'll just stand there for a couple seconds and then fly back down again. And then we should have plenty of banner captains for us to kill. Right, I think this is high enough, so let's just build a nice little platform up here so that I have an easier time landing in the future. Oh, go away, Phantom. This was a bad time for you to come here. Why are you even here? It's daytime. <laughs> Or maybe he came in the last second of the night or something, I don't know. The sun is rising at the moment. I think it's time that we descend though. There's tons of pillagers down here at the moment, and even some captains for us to kill. So let's just put that chest blade on and get to killing. There we go. Voluntary exile. <laughs> Have I really not killed one of those myself before? I guess I've burned all the other ones before. <laughs> just look at all of these guys though. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, they're not even damaging me! <laughs> oh, this is brilliant! <laughs> oh, this is a bit ridiculous. I need some bad omen though. There we go. Bad omen. At last. Oh! <laughs> Are you guys okay? <laughs> Just look at all the arrows here. <laughs> There's a lot of arrows. Oh my goodness. Well, I have bad omen now. That's good. But oh my goodness, I am now the human pincushion. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was a lot of pillages. I think I need quite a bit more bad omen though, so let's just do that another couple of times, and I'm sure we'll be good. Right, so there's plenty more pillages again. So let's begin. Chest plate on, gotta remember that. And hello, captains must die. Thank you very much. I need the bad omen. <laughs> I should probably kill a lot of these other guys as well. <laughs> oh, there's so many of them. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. I'm glad I've done this though. <laughs> oh, hello, hello, flag bearer. Give me more bad omen. Thank you very much. That should be three levels now. And here we go, the human pincushion number two. Let's do it again. Right, there's tons more pillages again. I love how I only have to spend like two seconds up at the top of that platform and I get all of the pillages I need. This is like the easiest and simplest pillager farm in this game, I swear. <laughs> right, chest blade on. Very good. Let's descend into this madness. This guy here though, he should be bad omen number five. Excellent. <laughs> oh my goodness, just look at them all though. <laughs> I can't deal with this. This is just too ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I can't stop smiling at this whole situation. <laughs> Hold on guys, do you mind if I eat? Oh, thank you very much. And there we go. <laughs> That's a lot of arrows. This is definitely a battlefield. But, I say we start that raid. Got Bad Omen level 5 now. Right, here we go. We've gotten back home again. As soon as I land on top of the bee farm, the top of the crop farm, the raid shall begin. And hopefully, it won't be too bad. <laughs> uh, when's it gonna start? Oh, there it is. Okay. Am I ready? I, I should probably get some more arrows out. Yeah, there we go. Just put that shulker back in here. Oh, there they are. They've spawned. The raid has begun. Right, we're diving straight in here. Let's just kill all of these pillagers before they get too close. I've gotten a bit of lag with these guys, unfortunately. I think um, my base has been rather laggy for quite a while now, to be honest. It's one of the reasons why I'm so glad I'm going to be moving to the nether soon. I don't have to deal with this for any longer. The mobs can barely move. <laughs> and this time I know that I don't have over 130 observer clocks firing off randomly. I wonder what else is lagging out this place. Is it just all of the farms that I have? Sure it is. I need a better PC. Right, where's that last guy? There he is! Wave one down! Okay, they've spawned over here this time, not on the other side of the fence. That's interesting. I wondered if they'd be blocked by the torches, but I 
guess not. So, yeah, I guess we've got to deal with them inside of the town now. That's okay, though. They should be easy enough to kill. We're still in the easy waves. Uh, I should probably block off this entrance to the mine. I don't want ravages or something making their way down here and killing everything in the villager block factory. That would be a nightmare. Right, hello. Oh, oh my goodness, that was a lot of damage. Okay, okay, uh, chest blade on. I shouldn't have felt that in the slightest. I, <laughs> I thought I had resistance too. Did I not have that? That's, that's interesting. Okay, well, I've got to be very wary of that axe, that's for sure. Thank goodness he's dead now. Wave two down. Right, there we go. We've got our first Ravager. And he's on the other side of the fence, so that's pretty lucky. Phantom's badgering me a bit, though. This Ravager should be pretty easy to kill, though, if he's on the other side of the fence. And there we go, Ravager down. And that makes wave three done. Right, I'm just going to sleep at the moment. The night time's annoying me. I don't want the phantoms. <laughs> right, so the raiders decided to spawn in this side of the fence again, but that's fine. They're easy enough to take care of over here, and I don't think they do too much damage now that I've got my chest blade on, although I should still be wary of these vindicators. They still do quite a bit of damage, and I'll kill the witch as well. I don't want them healing the other illagers either. Oh, just, just take care of these witches. Stop drinking your potions. Die for me. Thank you. And this is the last one. Time to die. Thank you very much. Right, okay, this is wave five, I think. We finally got evokers. So that's interesting. I can't hit anything at the moment though. It's just this, uh, it's the lag. Like I have no idea like where my arrows are going to land. So it's, it's rather unpredictable. At least I can hit the ravager. <laughs> Ravager down. Excellent. They seem to be bunching up just over here. I think that's where the, the villager breeder is, like just on the other side of the wall, so I'm not surprised that they're there. It's interesting that they decide to just bunch up there though, and don't try to find like another way in. That's fine though, they're easy enough to kill there. Right, die please. Excellent. Let's pick up that totem. Thank you very much. That's the first totem of the raid. Right, they've spawned over here again, which is good. I now have a fence between them and me. Yeah, screw the fence. I think I prefer to use melee with this amount of lag because I can't seem to hit them with my arrows. <laughs> and this is the last guy. I don't know why he's climbing the vines, but okay, he's uh, that's his choice. Right, uh, I forget which wave this is, but I can see quite a few evokers at the moment, so this is probably a rather dangerous one. That's fine though, we've got this. Please don't summon vexes. Ah, oh, missed it. Oh, rip to that vex though, I, I killed him. <laughs> Right, I need to kill these these evokers though. Oh, that was easy. That's one down at least. That's a vindicator down. Kill the witch before he heals anyone. Good. Um, I think we're gonna go for melee with the rest of this though. I don't want to waste too many of my arrows. I think I should be safe like this. I just keep leading them on like this and retreating all the while. Hang on, just let me eat. Thank you very much. Oh, he's just disabled my shield. How dare he? Ravager down. One more to go. Oh, I just heard a Vindicator next to me. That wasn't a good sound. Hang on. Right, I, I don't know where he was. I didn't want to hear that though. Right. When's this guy gonna die? There we go. Second Ravager down. Right. Uh, I should kill this Evoker first, actually. Come here. Thank you very much. Another totem for me. Get out of here, Vexes. Get out of here, Vindicators. You're not welcome here. Oh, these Evokers are so fast. They really don't want to be hit by arrows. They just run everywhere. They don't stop running. They know how to walk normally. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of mobs here though. All right, come here Evoker. Very good. There's another one down at least. Oh, there's an Evoker riding the Ravager too. <laughs> right, come here witch. I don't want you healing the others. Right, let's kill the Evoker. I should shoot that one first at least. I'll hit the Ravager. Right, have I killed the, the Evoker yet? I didn't quite see that one. No, he's still alive. That's unfortunate. Did I get him that time? No. Come on, die! Die for me! Oh, I'm not even shooting the Evoker anymore. <laughs> and I think I just ran out of arrows too. That's okay though, I've got a trident. So I can use that for ranged attacks at least. Right, let's kill this Evoker with the trident. Come on, can I do that at least? Come on, let me hit you. Evoker down! Excellent, right, okay. So hopefully that should be the last of the Vexes, at least. 
just got to take care of these ravages now, and I think that should be it. Hang on, can I pick that totem up? Oh, my inventory's full! Interesting, I didn't think that would happen. <laughs> I didn't notice that happen, at least. Uh, I don't know if this trident actually does much damage to the ravages, though, unfortunately. That's fine, though. It's like my only ranged attack at the moment, because I, I lost all my arrows. <laughs> right, screw the trident. I'm going to use the sword for this. The trident's too slow. <laughs> oh, I've got some arrows again. That's another Ravager down! Excellent. Right, okay. I think we're nearing the end of this thing. I just need to kill this last Ravager, and we should be safe from now on. As well as this Vindicator, I guess. <laughs> right, come on, Ravager. Let's go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. There we go. Ravager down. I think this guy is all that's left, but while he seems to be not interested with me, I think I'm just going to put a chest down, and we'll save all of these totems before we start the next wave, and that way we don't have to deal with a full inventory at least. <laughs> Let's just put them in here. There we go, that should do. Now where was that Vindicator? Oh, there's actually a few of them here. <laughs> right, that should be the last of them. Oh, that was the last wave! We've done it! We've just taken on a level 5 raid and won. Excellent. <laughs> we lived another day. We survived. That's good. And I have all of these totems too. I think we got 8 from that raid. That's pretty good. Now let me observe the damage. Are any of my villagers dead? Got 2 here. That's good. There should be 2. Got 2 here. That's also good. How's my villager breeder? Okay, that's villager breeder's broken as usual. There's 3 in there at the moment. I shouldn't have 3 in there. And these villagers are okay too. So, my villagers are okay. None of them died to vexes, which is excellent. Now, I'd quite like to try out the, the hero of the village, so will you throw some things to me? Please throw things at me? Can they throw things at me? Am I doing something wrong? I, I want to be showered with gifts. Do you not like me? Am, am I at the wrong place? Am I doing something wrong? Right, there we go. I've got some clay from these two. Uh, anything else? Nothing else? Seriously? I thought I'd have a good source of clay from doing this, but I guess not. They don't seem to be throwing anything to me, like they're not even trying. Yeah, this is uh, this was unexpected. I thought I'd get tons of clay from this place, and I guess that's another block there, but I thought I'd get more. <laughs> I thought I'd get at least like a couple stacks out of this, but I guess not. In which case, I'm not sure if uh, Hero of the Village is worth it. I definitely think that just manually digging up clay is faster than this. This just isn't that good. I expected better. But I am now the proud owner of 13 Totems of Undying. And that is very cool. That should see me out until the end of the world, hopefully. That's pretty good. I'm going to be completely invincible with these things. The fear of death shall be a thing of the past. From now on, we are immortal. <laughs> Oh, that's the hope anyway. Isn't there an advancement for this? Yeah, there we go. Post-mortal. Use a totem of undying to cheat death. I wonder when we'll run into that. I hope I never have to. Ah, <laughs> oh, just look at us go though. Jewel wielding the totems. Isn't this awesome? <laughs> we are so decked out for the future of this world. I tell you what, absolutely nothing can stop me now. I am immortal in this world now. <laughs> Which is why I'm going to ang you all and do this. Yeah, we don't use totems on this channel. Bye! Thanks for watching.